Greg, Colin, Substitute Teachers Lounge. This is episode 254, and I couldn't be more excited. You know, every time I've done a student interview show, it's been one of our highest rated shows. This week, I am especially excited because it's the first time I've ever done an interview with an exchange student in high school. You might find out some of her likes and dislikes. You might find out her favorite food in America and also in Germany, if you can pronounce it. Most importantly, you'll find out about what she thinks about substitute teachers. So here we go. All right, guys, I am excited today because for the first time I've ever done this on, a, on this podcast, I have an exchange student that I'm going to interview just to talk a little bit about maybe what some of the differences are between schools here, schools over there, whatever else we think we might be able to, you know, t- talk about and discuss. First of all, now... I didn't tell you this, but I'll tell you now. Don't tell anybody your last name. Okay. But So we'll just go by your first name. Are you good with that? Yeah. All right. So I'll let you introduce yourself. You can tell us a little bit about yourself, like where you were born, maybe your favorite activities to do, favorite food, anything like that. So my name is Romy, and I'm from Germany. Yeah, I was born in Germany, and then I lived in Spain for um, six years And then we moved back to Germany, and yeah, now I'm doing an exchange here in the U.S. What else did I say? (laughs) Uh, um, Food. What's your favorite food? My favorite food, like here in America. Either one? Um, Well, here in America, definitely canes. (laughs) (laughs) And back in Germany, probably like, it's called Dampfnudeln. It's like a southern something. My dad makes it. It's really okay. good. That's like the first thing I can think of. But have you been to any Ger- have you been to any German restaurants in America? Um, not yet. Okay. But I've been to like a market, and you can like buy like German stuff there, like German food. Okay. That was pretty fun, but like not a restaurant. I don't think they have many here. Okay. All right. I would agree. I I have been to one before in Lexington, but. I don't even remember what I got. Oh. Anyway, all right, so let's see. How would you say schools are different in America than they are in Germany? So, By the way, can I say something first? How many languages do you speak? Um, four. What do you speak? So English, then German, French, and Spanish. Okay, all right. I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm pretty envious of that, to be honest. How do schools differ differ in Germany than they do in the United States? So I think, like, school is way harder in Germany. Like, here is, like, I don't know, they make school more fun and, like, <laughs> um, just, like, the teachers are more, like, on the same level. You know what I mean? Like, okay. And, like, I don't know, it's, like, more formal in Germany. Like, people dress more up and, like, I don't know. It's just, like, people take it more serious, I feel like. But it's, like, a little too hard, actually. Like, sometimes it's, like, I don't know, especially, like, the last two years, I think it's going to be, like, really hard. Like, I wish, like, I could stay here for school sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, have a, like, relaxing life. I don't know. Okay, (laughs) all right. Can I tell them what you told me? I guess that when I met you in that engineering class, do you remember what you told me about testing when you came over here? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't okay. remember, but yeah. Well, I mean, you said something to the effect of you were were the equivalent of a sophomore over there, but then oh. when they when they tested you, they put well, you... Well, they don't really test at me. Okay. Well, like, it was just... Because, like, it's a, it was, like, really easy. Like, the sophomore, like, biology classes, it was, like, really easy. I was, like, doing nothing. Okay. So... It was just, like, making more sense to, like, okay. the upper classes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's talk about substitute teachers since this is a substitute teacher podcast. Describe, is it different? Like, if you have a teacher that was 
absent in your school over there, did they handle it basically the way we handle it here, or was it a little bit different? Um, it was different. Like, so since teachers don't have like a classroom they stay in, like you switch classrooms like every oh, class. Okay. And it would be like, there if you would be like a teacher and you would have like a free period or so, you would like jump in and like teach the class. Okay. And then the upperclassmen mostly just would get like a free class period or something to okay. like go outside or, like, do some makeup work or, like, go home or feel of clothes or something like that. Okay. So it's kind of different, yeah. Okay. Have you ever had a bad experience with a teacher or a substitute teacher? Um, in Germany or? I'll let you answer that however you want to. Maybe we should stick with Germany. <laughs> yeah. So in Germany, definitely. Okay. Like, I had a math teacher that was really bad, like, he was just like, I don't know. He was like coming up to like students and like telling like I don't know them that they're like not good enough for like the oh. school or something like that. That they look like that they should like change schools or something like, or I don't know. His test would be like with like handwriting and you couldn't even read it and all that stuff. And he just didn't really care about it. And that like made me I don't know really like insecure about my math. Okay, like classes. All right. That's a good answer. And I thought I'm, like, not good enough for it or so, but it was just, like, the teacher, so, yeah. Okay. So since you've been here, you've probably had several substitute teachers, right? Yeah. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Tell me how, tell me how you would create the perfect substitute teacher. Um, wait, let me think about that for okay. a second. Okay, all right. Do you want to stop it? <laughs> Okay, you could probably tell that we paused it a little bit because we're thinking about that question. The question I asked was, how would you create the perfect substitute teacher? I think maybe Romy is going to let someone else in the room help a little bit. So tell us your first name. By the way, this student is 18, so that those of you that are making sure that I get all the permissions... You might ask that. So, how would you create the perfect substitute teacher? Tell us your first name. Uh, my name's Micah, and I would create the perfect substitute teacher. Um, they would probably not make us do much and let us be on our phone. And You're 18, and you still feel that way. Yes. <laughs> and keep the lights off so we can nap. All right, now yeah, give us a, give us a bad. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on, that's the best answer. Go ahead, back of the room. Just you don't have to. Just go ahead. I, I mine is like kind of the opposite because I don't like getting behind on work. Okay. So I would prefer like I if substitutes know a little bit about the subject. Okay. All right. Okay, but I like, like that. I think, like, a substitute teacher, like, I mean, since they're, like, probably not the best in the Right, subject, in the field that they're teaching. They can't really help you, so yeah. I kind of agree with Micah. <laughs> yeah. And I will tell you this. I was pretty good at math in high school, but knowing it and trying to teach it are two different things, so that comes into play a lot, too. All right, let's close with this one. You ready? Yeah. All right. Tell everybody in the room something about yourself that they don't already know. Uh, pause that for a second. <laughs> All right, since you're thinking about it, let me change the question slightly. Tell us, as far as activities, sports, that you're involved with here or that they don't that they don't really offer you in your school in Germany maybe some of the activities that are different here than they would be there okay so in Germany I did like I did dancing and horse riding actually a lot like since sports are like not in school like it's completely different like you have your school friends and then you like sport friends um and you do it like after school and here it's just like I feel like the school is just like just so much like like the school spirit is so much better because like the school sports are like 
the same people as like the people you know from school. If you、right. know what I mean, it's kind、yep. of complicated, but <laughs> yeah. So here I do, I did swimming, diving, like swimming, and but the season is over. So now I do track and field, and yeah, I really like it. I've never really tried it out in Germany. I used to swim a little bit, but like, I mean, never like competitive. But yeah, I really like track and field here, and I don't know if I'm gonna do it in Germany or not. Probably not because I won't have time. But I really enjoy doing it here. Okay, what events specifically in track and field do you do? Um. So yesterday was our like first outdoor meet actually, and I did the、um, 100 sprint, the 200, and the 400, and then I was in one relay, the 4x2. But We were、uh, really looking forward for like the four by four team and the four hundred individual. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Romy, we thank you for being with us on this week's episode. Any closing thoughts you have? Um. <laughs> I, I caught you by surprise. <laughs> yeah.、Um, I mean, wait. What was it? Any closing thoughts? Anything you want to say? How many new friends did you make when you came here? Oh, a lot. Yeah, I was going to say it seems <laughs> yeah, like it you make friends bit, pretty easily. Yeah, it took a little bit, but like, it took a little bit, but like, yeah, I made some really close friends here that will probably come back and visit too. Good, good, sounds great. All right, guys, that was Romy. We were happy to have her here today, and that's it for us on Substitute Teachers Lounge. One final comment is: We will have other interviews in the future. I want to interview a young lady that I last interviewed in the sixth grade, and this is four years later now. We'll have her talk about substitute teachers, and then we'll move along. Happy spring break! That's we're in the middle of that this week, so hope you're having a good one. As we close, always remember that you can email your questions to Greg Collins Substitute at Gmail dot com. Please join our Facebook group, Substitute Teachers Lounge, where we'll share ideas and thoughts about each week's show. See you next week. Music provided by Ben Sound.